How can this illegal bent shaft help transform your golf game? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. On this channel, I bring you guys golf-related content every single day to help you raise your game, lower your handicap, but mainly just to get you enjoying your golf loads more. In today's video, I'm talking about this bent golf club and just how it can help you transform your golf game. Now the first thing you need to know about this club is it is a non-conforming illegal golf club. In fact, it is purely a training aid. The club's called the DST Compressor and DST stands for Delayed Strike Technology. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest guys, this is an open and honest review. In fact, it's not even a review, it's just a video on my favorite teaching aid, my favorite training aid. You can go and buy these, I think it cost me about 80 quid maybe two or three, maybe four years ago now. You can still get them. I'm not being paid for this video. It's not an ad. I'm not getting kickbacks. I'm not giving you a discount code. Couldn't care less about any of that, but you can pick them up if you want them. And the idea behind them is, now as you can see with this club, it is an eight iron and it has a massive wide sole. And when the sole of this club sits flat on the ground, we then develop forward shaft lean. And as we all know, to be a good ball striker, to be a fantastic, great ball striker, but we need that forward shaft lean impact with the irons in order to get a compressed golf shot, a controlled golf shot, and pretty much the best golf shot you can possibly hit with your irons. Now the idea behind the bend in the shaft and the big wide flat sole is that when the club sits on the ground, the handle's forward, the shaft's leaning forward, and these two lines on the face and on the hosel line up so that you have the correct line of compression. If these two lines don't line up, then the handle's too far back, the club face is gonna overtake the hands, you lose control of the club face, you can't compress the golf ball like you could do ultimately with the handle forward, and then you don't hit as good a golf shot or as consistent golf shot as you possibly could. These clubs have not only been used by some of the best ball strikers in the world, Henrik Stenson, Danny Willer, Justin Rose, but they've also been used by some of the best coaches in the world. This club first came to my attention when I saw Pete Cowan teaching Henrik Stenson with it on the range. I had to know what it was, I had to know what it was doing, and and from there, I've never looked back and I've used it in so many of my golf lessons, it is unbelievable. I only wish I could take it out on the golf course with shots like that. And you see, one of the biggest questions that I get asked when people come for a lesson is how do tour pros hit it so far? Why do they hit it so far? Why does the eight iron go so far and my five iron goes nowhere? You see, generally what you find is that very good ball strikers dynamically will deal off the golf club. That seven iron becomes a net six iron, becomes a net five iron. If you're not a very good iron player, you're not a very good ball striker, and you try flicking the golf club in the air, generally what you're gonna do is you're gonna add loft. That seven iron becomes an eight iron, becomes a nine iron. You see here, I've hit two golf shots, both with the same club, the same same seven iron, one of them I've de-lofted, one of them I've added loft to dynamically, and you'll see the differences in the numbers. So in essence, what this club does is it stops you flipping the hands over at impact, stops you flicking the ball up in the air and gets you compressing that ball down into the turf to achieve a much more penetrating ball flight, hopefully towards the flag. But there's a couple of other things that you have to do with your body and with your swing to allow yourself to do that. One of the big things is in the downswing, you have to turn the body, you have to turn the hips, you have to get the weight into that left foot whilst the hips turning. That allows the hands to pass around the body, it allows them to get forward. The delayed strike technology then works its magic and because the handle's forward, the club face is under control, you can then hit straighter golf shots. What I see far too often in lessons and what can ultimately lead to bad iron shots, inconsistent iron shots, bad strikes, is one, the weight doesn't get forward, it stays back, then you end up having to throw the club at the ball, that never ends well. And also you might see players' hips slide towards the target instead of rotate towards the target. That doesn't leave anywhere for the hands to go, it doesn't allow you to compress the ball, so you end up having to try and... And ultimately, again, that doesn't end too well. 
Another thing that I like to use this club for is I'll ask a player to create me what they feel like is the perfect impact position or the perfect impact position for them. And so often that'll be with the handle level with the club, maybe even have some forward shuffling because the player knows that with that iron that they're trying to get the ball up in the air and they think that with an iron the easiest way to get a ball up in the air is to flick it up in the air. Whereas with this bend club if I say to a player find me the perfect impact position straight away the handle's forward because the shaft is leaning that way, the shaft is bending that way and as soon as you put those two white lines together you make a much more powerful impact position and from there you can hopefully try and recreate that impact position at impact from address. Generally the amount of offset that this club provides when it's in the correct position means if you don't release the club properly, if you flick it too early, if you hang on to it, you're not going to hit this ball straight, you're not going to keep it on the planet, you're definitely not going to hit it straight at the target that you're working on in your practice or with your coach. Guys, thank you so much for that. I do hope you've enjoyed it. A slightly different video today as to what I would normally give you. Usually if I do one of these outlandish videos with a really heavy club or with a zero lofted iron or with a mega lofted wedge or something like that, it's all about fun, it's all about experimenting. This isn't so much about experimenting, it's more about hopefully improving your game. Do not try and make one of these at home because the shaft will just snap and you'll probably hurt yourself. These shafts are made like this and remember these are illegal to use in competitive play. A shaft has to be a full cylinder like shape and unfortunately this one isn't. But that's the beauty of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. The channel is growing immensely fast and I want it to carry on going and I want you to be a part of it. And by doing so, I want to help you improve your game. Leave a like if you've enjoyed that content and comment below, do you think the bench shaft would help your game? As always, I'll see you tomorrow.